meeting of the Rollins Street Planning Board to order. In attendance, we have uh, Glenn Chase, Mike Lulo, Kevin Haynes, myself, Miles England, um, Carolyn Kendall, and John Hinsman. Um, since Patrick is absent um, tonight, I'll appoint Carolyn as a, a voting member, <coughs> since she's an alternate. Um, first up on the agenda is, I apologize, uh, continuation of the site plan review uh, for Daniel Pepin. If you guys want to. We, we don't have a report of Dr. Perry's meeting. So we we're, don't. We're being video -taped. We are being, people just introduce themselves. Okay, sure. For the yeah. secretary when she's filling out the. Uh, she's going to do the minutes from the tape, apparently. Yeah. 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 These are ones. I had three large in them. I like that. Yeah, and several uh, 11 by 17 if you want to. For sure. So, uh, for the record, Kevin McEnany, uh, McEnany survey, we did the uh, plan for Dan Bethan. And uh, Dan's here with, with me as well, should you have any questions of him. Uh, so, I just might. Recap what we did at the last meeting. Uh, we were here in August and, and presented a, a site plan uh, for uh, the garage facility, the repair facility that Dan uh, operates on Summersworth Road. And at that time, there was a, a number of uh, items that John Krebs had brought up to on a review of the, of the plan. I have since made those revisions and sent them to John. And uh, basically, um, I can go through where we put the changes and the claims just so you can see where they are as well. 
So the first one, uh, first one, first item was really uh, not applicable because it was a uh, not lot line merger, it was lot line elimination. So that was something that really wasn't even uh, applicable. Number two uh, had to do with sure. So number one was uh, he just explained that he reviewed the application. Number two, he said uh, on note seven we referred to a 20 foot wide uh, public service easement. And he wanted that shown on the plan, which we have. It's uh, okay. I'm okay. Yeah, it's you see where it is? This location right here. Yeah. It runs from here okay. to the to the. the Okay. Uh, the, the third item was uh, uh, had to do with the Quonset hut and when that came about and whether or not that was on there. And that was shown on the, on the previous plan, so that's been there for some time. I think we agreed to that. Uh, number four was we need to address how the uh, 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 storage, and we put a note on the plan. To that effect, note 12, and it says solid waste, scrap metals, oils, etc., will be stored inside the building until they are recycled or properly disposed of on an as needed basis. Do you use those for 12? Is I see 11 on the oh, side. It's, right, it's just to the side of the C11. We went to the left. I was a little unconventional. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, all right. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, that's all right. So that addresses. It should be item 4, I believe. I'm so, so this is his, just to, uh, so I don't know if you got his... I did get his book. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So I was going to go through the old ones and then go Perfect. back through on my... Yep. Yeah. Just to let you know where I put the changes on there. So, number five, added additional lighting. We added lighting uh, in front of the building here. Uh, on the building, we had previously, we had one here on the side door. We also uh, added a light to be installed in this existing pole, which I think, when we get forward to John's other comment, I'm hoping that that's going to cover this uh, area lighting here that we're talking about. Uh, so that was item five. Item six, we added landscaping. We added landscaping along the driveway here in the front, and then a screening area along the parking area beside the building. And there's a detail on the lower right-hand corner beside the, uh, the, uh, uh, of the of the detail of the planting and how closely the, together they should be to make sure that it's screened properly. Um, number seven, we had talked about on the last plan we had said uh, either pavement or uh, brick pavers or some sort of a paver. We've changed that now to asphalt and it's going to be on both sides of the, uh, of the, of the facility as well as 25 feet in front so that it will accommodate any cars that are parked outside because I think it was a concern that, that if, we didn't want to park on gravel if there was any leakage of oil or anything like that. So that's how we address that. Um, and then the paved uh, part about the uh, ADA requirements. I think adding the pavement satisfies that ADA requirement, so that was that. Uh, and then uh, there was a, a spelling error that we corrected on the, uh, the storage note. So that was the last time. And then John. Um, Sent this one out, and I, I don't know if you've all looked at this memo as well. Um, this was today, I believe. Yeah, today. So, number one, he still has the about this uh, solid waste and scrap metal and how we're going to deal with that. I'm not sure if he, he actually saw that note. But he might have missed it. Yeah. Um, yeah. I think this. I think yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so, good. so that. Um, lighting cut sheets, he just wants a. Like a detail of what the lighting would be, okay. You know, which so, we spec it out. We can moments. add, yeah, we can add that on there if, if that's satisfactory to the board. Okay. Um, and then the, the next one has to do with the, the lighting, uh, the yard lighting, and I'm not again, I'm not sure he saw that addition of that pole light, which I think should be satisfactory to light up that area across the, the parking area. Number four had to do with uh, the requirement for paving all the driveway. And I do have a waiver request here that um, I can pass to the chair. Uh, 
chair. And I will, uh, this has to do with that uh, Section 3, 5B parking lot design. And what I've said in here is that the site currently consists of gravel, gravel drive, driveway access with a large parking slash travel area in front of and around the commercial building. The client will install an asphalt apron at the garage bay's entrance and on both sides of the garage as depicted on the plan. So we're seeking a waiver to allow the remaining driveway and parking area to remain gravel. Okay. So I guess that would have to be a separate action for yep. the waiver. Yep. And let's see what else I have here. Uh, then John, uh, number five, had to do with a note about um, the, the vehicle storage and those type of things. And I was asked by the board to reach out to Jeff Oliva and I reached out to Jeff, and he told me that he never received a, a letter of conditions of approval oh. for the proper language to put on, so he doesn't think he ever changed okay. that plan to, to do that. So I had no way of knowing what that language was. Did you find what you were looking for? Yes, so. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so we do have a notice of decision. Um, Eleven spaces? No, sorry. Yes. This is this is just is there I don't see where there's a number of vehicles though. There's no vehicles for more than fourteen consecutive days. Suggested here. Yeah, John suggested some language in there as well. Yep. Um, sounds like he's saying 45 days, which sounds like it's more than what's on the other. Wait. It doesn't say explicitly. Okay. Well, I guess we'll have to talk that through. Um, what you know, what's reasonable and what's. You know. Do you have an extra copy of this? Oh, sure. Sorry. 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 I'll okay. take it. Right. What I what I don't want is something that you would put on there as a restriction 
So I think we'll cover it forward. with the with the zoning ordinance. We don't have to enter language We're specifically. Not that's permitted, but he has every right to pursue okay. that. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Sure. That's, that's fine. fine. As long as he can go through the proper channels right. to do that. Right. Yeah. That would be, that would prevent from doing the project again on that one point. Okay. I think what is your point? If we went along with the language that Mr. Krebs is suggesting, that you don't want to be set up to fail before you go to the city. Exactly. So I think that's what you've got to consider. Uh, the other thing that we're on previous weeks, we have no issue with the powers of operation. Uh, we'll okay. 14 consecutive days are fine. We don't need the 45. If okay. That's, if we want to be consistent with what was done before. Okay, so at this point, uh, I'll ask if anyone on the board has questions for the applicant, Kevin? I would just like to go through, and not to belay the issue of the parking, because oh, yeah. um, one, one dimension that I do not see here, it does say that you're 25 feet forward of the building, and you know right. the building is 40 by 40. Yep. Um, and it says, to, it says on the sides, to the extent of the gravel area, but that dimension is really not labeled on here, so, um, you know, forward to backward, I see you've got 25 feet up front, and you almost strip to the back of the building, as depicted. Yep. So I probably have 25 and 35 along this, this, this dimension here. Because I don't have I don't have this little subtraction here labeled on here. So right. um, just thinking out loud twenty five and thirty five is thirty five or forty or you know I'm not gonna argue about feet, but um, that would give us sixty feet. Okay? And because I don't know this gravel extent, yeah. I don't know how far come this comes up. So I'm thinking you're probably looking at parking cars just just one along this, this outer limit here of the pavement. Is that correct? Yes. And we have 60 feet there. Yeah. So what do you anticipate for an average car width and uh, mile width? If you, if, you do, if you do the parallel parking yep. space, those are 10 by 20. Parallel so you, parking, nose to tail? Yes. As, you don't think you'd get more if you went? Oh, you probably would if you went that way, but I'm just saying what you described. If, you, if, you're, doing, if you're doing a head-end parking, those are 9 by 18. So how many could we fit there in 60 um, feet? In 60 feet, you could fit uh, six. Okay. And then the, the bays to the garage doors, as they're not depicted here, are they on the front of the building as yes. you approach the building? So they there's are. two bays there. Yes. And we know we've got 25 feet exactly. out from the building. That's right. Now, what do you figure for an anticipated depth of length of a car? Because when you back a car, you really don't have ample parking along the front there on pavement. Um, to back a car out and safely maneuver, because you'd have to subtract, you know, the width of this door here, you know, because you wouldn't want to park out. Yeah. No, I'm just trying to, to find the, because uh, your list here is 8, 11, I'm sorry, 20 spaces, correct? 20 foot spaces. Yeah, on, that's on, across the way. So we know we have 6 on this side. Yeah, that would help. Because that's 60 feet, so we put 6 there. Um, and we have two employees, or it's just you, Dan? Just one. So we have one employee, and then the other one's designated ADA, which I, I really like what you did there. Yeah. So, um, so those don't count toward your, your car storage parking for, for, I think you listed on here four per bay, so it's a total of eight plus, you said two, you came up with ten, right? Include, you're including the service bays inside as parking? Yes. So we're up to eight, right? Or I, I'm just trying to. Yep. You, you tell me. I, I, you know this oh, way yeah, better than so I. So trying to see it all. So as far as like the a travel width for backing out of the garage, a normal travel width is 24 feet. If you were in a parking a parking lot, you'd have nine by 18 on one side, 24 foot travel width, and then nine by 18 on the other side. So that's why I went with the 25 because it was beyond. So you wouldn't park cars on along that front no, rows at all. Not at all. So we have six along the side. Yep. Yeah. And if you do two inside two, the bays, two inside eight. and then two on the, the ADA and the employee park, and then employee, employee park, park. But that, and then we have parking the across. So one, two, three, four. Right. But that's not for a service bay because that's the employer, employee parking, right? Does that count? Does that get to count? And the ADA gets to count towards your four per bay. I'm, think, a, I'm only reading what you. You know, I just want to make sure. Yeah, I, I think that that's a total. That four per bay is a, is a total, which would include. You know, your employee and your customers, TA, yes, as well as your service. And then the, we have additional parking across the way that's gravel. Yes. 
So we're not storing cars. Anymore. We're not storing cars. It's, people coming just, in and out. It's overflow, overflow parking, or employees could park there. But well. anything on that gravel there, we need to be moved within the 14 days that we're talking about. It we have to be valid. Or I was thinking they're only going to park. They were all, they were all there. Yeah. The, the 14 day storage of the vehicles will be on the pavement section or in the garage. Are you planning on expanding, Mr. Pepper? Do you want more than one employee? Not now. I don't know. I mean, five, ten years in the future, would you like to have a couple of people? I would like to be retired by. Fair enough. Fair enough. But I haven't really thought that far. We want to plan ahead for you. That's what you're. Yeah, because um, we don't want to come back and say, oh, by the way, now if you want to add, you're going to add pavement or something, you know, do it now. Right. So conceivably, <clears throat> during the day, an employee could park over here. On the, on the side? Yeah, that's right. Sure. Sure. Um, and then, and then but, if, if he did expand, we could come back and extend that pavement over to add, yeah. to add some. If you want to start some cars or, or, right. or add, right. add another employee. Add another employee. You're right. So that's only for overnight storage, so that no no vehicles are. And in theory, most of them there would be maybe non-running vehicles waiting for repairs or parts to come in or something like that. That's right. Those are going to mostly sit there anyways. The cars up front will be the daily traffic. That'll be the yes. most paying bills. Yes, and nothing parked in front of the base at all. That's okay. just I was, I was good. Good. yeah. But you could pull someone up there at the end of the day, of course. You could. You could park it overnight. You know. Close. Yes. I'm okay with that. Just to unclear this, Kevin. Yeah. So you're saying that uh, in terms of the the asphalt area, you've got that as is designated as vehicle storage area. Then you've also got this area over here that's just gravel as being storage area. How are those two? It probably different? shouldn't be labeled storage. I should probably change that and just say overflow parking or something. And, and I guess the only reason I, I bring it up is that uh, you know vehicles leak fluids. Yep. And you know, get the river not too far away from, you know, downstream from here. And I, I guess I'm kind of concerned about that. And can you also tie in for me the idea of, and I know it's not technically before us, the idea of selling vehicles. Would your plan as written permit vehicles for sale as opposed to vehicles to be repaired to be stored other than on the vehicle storage area right around the, the, uh, the building? I didn't mean to make that a multi-point yeah, question. Not, it's not before us. But I do think that. So, so on the site overnight, a, a total of eight to ten cars. I'm, I'm not, you know, parking in spaces. Yeah. So whether those are for repair or for sale. Do you think it doesn't? It, it doesn't. It doesn't matter. Um, I guess I'm just trying to get it, is is to. Isn't it? Isn't the intent of what we're trying to do here is have all the vehicles, uh, whether it's overnight or or more or up to 14 days, to be all on the asphalt and not on gravel? I guess this one. I guess I thought that that was the issue. When I, I guess I'm kind of concerned that it's kind of it's it's, it's morphed into something that's less than clear to me. So the I, the intent is to have everything that's parked there on the. You know, for a 14 day period, it's probably going to be way less than that, anyways, but to be on the asphalt. Okay? And it's probably a poor use of words to put storage on that gravel area across, and if that's something that doesn't seem, it could be just over full parking or something like that. If, that, if that's, you know, more agreeable, then we'd be glad to change that. I think you want to do that, because I think what we don't want to see happen is we don't want this to turn into a junkyard. Yeah. Or stay, you know. Yeah. And, and I'm sure if we go to the zoning board for special exception, there's probably going to be conditions that they're going to put on as well. Yeah. So I'll, I'll take that storage off of there and put overflow parking. If that, if that work? I think that's good. Any other questions before we open up? I would like to see depicted the dimensions that are missing. The yep. Extents of the yeah, bedroom around the building. I can do that. I think I'd like to see that. I have a scale in my car. If you'd like me to grab that, and just see, see what they are. I'm just talking for finalizing. Okay. You know, I mean, add, add the dimensions on those pavements. Sure. Sure. I mean, you know, 
as this as this progresses to a, approval, when that does happen, there'll be conditions and you know, if it's a PEP and responsibility, we'll adhere to those conditions yeah. and, and there's no reason that that, that wouldn't be the case. So okay. I see he has ample parking for 10 vehicles, as you explained to me. Yeah. And I understand coming low traffic with people waiting to pick up the vehicles. And, Anything else? So at this point, um, we're going to reopen the public hearing that we started uh, at our last meeting and take any comments or questions that the public might have. Is there anywhere in here, so that I don't miss it in, in reading this, is there anything in here that relates specifically to a, a, your, your, our discussion of the uh, sales? Is there any car sales wording anywhere on here to, so we can make sure that it, it is written in a language that is happy for both sides of the table, so to speak? I don't believe um, we have because it, Like yeah. I said, if it's permitted by a special exception, he has a right to pursue that on his own behalf. Right. If it's not permitted at all, he also has a right to go to ZBA. I mean, you know, yeah. at, Business owner, so for, uh, for, is there anywhere on here? Yeah, for this plan, we didn't address car sales at all. Okay. It was just a repair facility. Okay. Uh, any any other questions, comments from the public? Hearing none, I'm going to close the public hearing at this point. Actually, why don't we, uh, in case you have to come back another time, all we'll right. just continue the, the public hearing um, so that we don't have to read notice. Yeah. And, um, so at this point, um, input from the board on, um, well, I, I guess there's a couple of things. Uh, there is a request for a waiver. Um, yep, absolutely. That we previously talked about. I know there were concerns the last time we were all together, and I shared them about fairness to other applicants in the town that have uh, wanted to offer a similar repair facility. I'm looking at the notice of decision from before. To me, I think, and we need to figure out what we're going to do with Mr. Krebs' number five on the technical number, but they're different sets. Um, they're, uh, and I think we need to be consistent, I and mean, we should be fair to, to the prior applicant, but they're different sites. The other applicant, applicant pardon me, was right on Main Street, yeah. very visible. Uh, this is set back in the industrial zone, and it will be screened. So uh, that's not to say that people won't be coming and complaining to me about something, trust me, they do all the time. So we may have to come in and see you, but. Um, if, if the applicant's okay with the 14 consecutive days, I um, I don't know if we need to be quite as restrictive about the number of cars that can be there. And, uh, but it has to be on paper. That's my only concern. But all the other all the other concerns that Mr. Krebs has raised have been addressed, so I, I'm okay. Okay. We just need to figure out exactly how we're going to say uh, address number five or line. I think the onus of that falls on if, if the applicant agrees to that number versus the 45 as suggested. Um, right, but he, they do. They are different sites. They do. They do both stand on their own. And um, this has been corrected to I think where it really satisfies our, our requirements. And you know, and, uh, if it's required, it's enforceable. Right. Right. And no one likes to get involved in that. I mean, this, you know, whether it's business owner or town, but it's, it is enforceable from, from where I can see. So, um, and but you, you, you know, the saying of you can't make everybody happy. So, is 14 days a reasonable amount of time? I don't even know if it was for over across the street. So, uh, I'm just, we're just discussing that. And, and I mean, uh, I look at it like sometimes, you know, a, a customer drop a car off, I might not get on to it like a day or two later. Yeah. Right. And I was just thinking, it just happened to me last week where one of my customers dropped it off and they didn't want on vacation for a week. Right. So, uh, 
I think it's getting a little bit close and tight. I think you just don't want it to turn into a story. Yeah, so I don't know. That's what we're really concerned about. Right. I think 14 sounds short. That sounds... Yeah. yeah. I thought 14's a little short. I thought John's 45 was a little long. Right, right. Yeah, I, I, thought, I thought 45 was long. I mean, if, can we compromise and go 30 days? I think, I, I mean, I'm, I'm agreeable to that. Well, like I said, in fairness, other, tenant, uh, other locations might brought up a good point. You know, locations are different, and what might seem like 30 days out in the woods by a field is like, you know, 14 days on the corner of Maine and, 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 you know, whatever. So, um, I don't think 30 is unreasonable. I don't think 30 is unreasonable either. And I, and I don't mean to keep going back to this, but I just, I may have too much being a twit for lawyer tonight, but, you know, the language of John's, in John's number five is no vehicles for you park backslash store which I think is kind of the same thing. And so I'm, I'm trying to get back to this idea of, I might ask Kevin this if I can have permission, what's the difference between vehicle parking and vehicle storage? I mean, because I don't, and I'm the de devil's advocate, you know, he could have the, the, a lot of numbers of vehicles stored here, and then he has more vehicles over here that he can say, well, those are just parked. That, and they're not on the asphalt, which is my main concern is vehicle food stripping. So what is the difference between Vehicle parking and vehicle storage. You know, there's probably a legal definition. For but that. I mean, but in terms of your intent on the plan, what is the intent? How does the intent of this area, which you've labeled on here vehicle storage and employee parking, how is that different from the vehicle storage area next to the building? That's what I'm trying to get at. Um, Would the use be different from those two different spots? I don't think it would be different, except now we're, we understand that the board wants us to do any vehicle storage except for potentially daytime parking in that gravel area, but they're all overnight, at the very least, stored on the asphalt. So would there be an objection to put inserting into this, into the plan, that any overnight parking shall occur in the vehicle storage area? No. I think, I think that's... That, that, may, okay. that, that, that satisfies that's, my concern about fluids and so forth. And can I go right on the note that John wants was in that same... It's yeah. fine with me. Yeah. It seems like it's part of the same so All vehicles on this lot, oh, all vehicles parked overnight on this lot shall be parked in the delineated parking areas uh, on, on pavement or asphalt or whatever you want to say. I mean, with no overnight storage on well, non paved section, on right, non paved right, section, right. something like that. Right. But in, in the no unregistered dismantled vehicle that we permitted on this site. And that's the, this is the problem we're running through other places. So I think we need to be consistent about that. And we, we should strip up the no vehicle sales permitted because they are permitted uh, through the special sure. sure. right. 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 And you have a car wash, too. That's already permitted. So. <laughs> and just two other items about the surveyor stamp and the weapon scientist. That, that's no problem. With that's, that's, yeah. Okay. <clears throat> So with that, do we want to address the waiver request? So we need to find the applicant. Did we already find the application? Did we do that last month? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. So I would entertain a motion to uh, to grant this waiver request. Um, I'll make that. Okay. I think it's been read. Kevin, you read it, so we have it. Yeah, yeah. um, okay. I can be glad to point it out if everybody's clear. It's just basically the apron that we have around there, and everything else is gravel, and that's what we're asking the request. And you agreed to put in the, the actual measurements? I mean, oh, yeah, we're going to put the dimensions on there. We can make, you can make that a condition if you want. You might as well have it in the record. I mean, it's no big deal. It's yeah. just, just, just as good as you get it in the Well, you, you're kind of caught by the fact that you have to should be able to show us 10 parking, parking spaces and right. in the building and the ADA and the employee. So, and as is depicted here, as long as you park six long on a side and, 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 and service, you know, drive the vehicles, and you, got, you know you get two inside, you know you get two on the left. So. Yeah, we'll, we'll have those. Okay, we have a motion on the table to accept the waiver. I'll okay. second the motion. Okay, third. Uh, all in favor? Aye. 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 All opposed? Hearing none, the waiver is granted. So, <clears throat> as far as the application overall, um, 
John did say in his note that he has no additional comments and believes the board should be in a position to grant approvable conditions. Um, I think we have a good idea of what those conditions are. Um, I'd just like to hear a summary. So, so we're all here yeah. at the same time, so that we can, I think that's important. That's right. can, yes, if you've got them. Um, yes. I have, do you want? Do you want me to read? Well, whoever, whoever, yeah, whoever is easiest for it, that you know, I'm gonna. Is, is that the right one? Little C right I have right in front of me. Sorry. Okay. I've got that. So. So you've already addressed a few of these, so they've been yes. crossed off. So we've already addressed number one. Yep. Uh, number two, you need to uh, indicate the. Um, uh, cut sheets for lighting. Yes. Still? Okay, so we'll keep that in mind. That one's uh, Number three, we have addressed as far as I'm concerned for the lighting. All right, we'll out, so. uh, four. Four is a waiver. Four is a waiver. We've already taken care of that. So, okay. Number five, we need to come up, we need to work some up a little bit before we can do it. Yep. So all vehicles parked on this lot. Within delineated spaces, all, all parked overnight. All vehicles on the lot parked overnight shall be within delineated parking space areas. Is that, is that clear? Is that clear? Urban? Instead of delimited parking. Right, because yeah, it's vehicle storage, storage, storage on. It's reference vehicle storage on the actual one. Yep. Okay. Okay. If you want to join, no, we'll take it. No, not the first one. It's actually made right here. Vehicle storage. Yeah. Okay. All vehicles parked within the overnight shall be parked now. All vehicles on this lot shall be parked overnight shall be within the specified. Vehicle storage area. Nice job. I actually want to say it again, though, so I can remember. All vehicles on this lot shall be par that are parked overnight shall be. See the new one's going to be right again. All vehicles shall be parked. All vehicles parked overnight shall be with the, within the delineated over, uh, uh, vehicle storage area. Are you writing this down, John, so I don't have to tell you about Well, I was just going to let me, let me, let me come up with my compromise. Again. So, no overnight parking backslash storage of vehicles except on the delineated vehicle storage area. Perfect. Perfect. But, but no vehicles shall be parked stored on this site for more than 30 days. Yeah. No unregistered or dismantled vehicles shall be permitted on this site. Plus this part. Do you have that? Do we have it as part of the official record? It does. Okay. I'm just, I just want to, the, other, the other thing I just want to, you might want to add is that we change the wording of the gravel area that we move that yeah, vehicle so that would be, be, be conflicting with what we, right. want, what we want to accomplish. That's, that's why we're okay. That can become uh, number five or something like that. Yeah. 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 Six and uh, the last two on there about the signatures? Yeah, and yes. I was going to take okay. the uh, yep. four and five. Thank you. 
shall be provided for the two lights proposed on the building, which light the building entrance. Number two. Number two, no overnight parking slash storage of vehicles except on the delineated vehicle storage area. No vehicle shall be parked, stored on this site for more than 30 days. No unregistered or dismantled vehicle shall be permitted on this site. Condition number three, change vehicle storage to overflow parking on the plan. Uh, number four, the certified wetland scientist that delineated, yeah, delineated the wetlands on this site. Uh, Mark West shall stamp the final plan. And number five, the New Hampshire license land surveyor that prepared this plan shall stamp and sign the face of the stamp on the final plan. Is there a condition of labeling the missing dimensions of the, I think we should that And verse six. So we have accurate dimensions of Dimensions shall be added to pay services, for pay services. Yes. 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 Second. Thank you, Chairman. Uh, all in favor? Aye. 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 All opposed? Hearing none, um, you have conditional Great. approval. Excellent. Thank you very much. Um, so we can um, draw up the notice of decision if you want to make the changes. Yep. Um, we, do we have an amended? Uh, oh, this doesn't need to be filed. We do have a But I can. Uh, I don't need to even sign it, though. Uh, I don't know. Yeah. Do you stand for something else? I think you can go. I'm not sure. I, I think it would be a good it's idea a good for idea. you to see a final yep. with, you know, with the conditions and all that. And, and then I'll give you multiple copies so you can have a stamp copy. And if I could have a stamp copy for my file. Perfect. Yeah, that's that's and then right. the, uh, so the review of these conditions, is that just going to be with the chair? Or does it go back to John to look at it? Um, yeah, I think. Can we, get, can we make a decision to allow you to sign in our absence, you know, as a standalone signer? Yep. We have to, we have to grant that permission by so. case, or? No, we just, 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 Send this to John for review. You can just look at those changes. They're pretty simple on what yeah. was adding something. Okay. We, can, we could, but we're following the advice. Yeah, I think yeah. we're yeah. good. Very good. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks for coming in. Okay. Next item on the agenda is approval of the minutes, which were sent out uh, right after our last meeting. Um, I motion to approve them. Prior meetings, minutes. All in favor? Aye. All opposed? Hearing none. Um, correspondence. I, I haven't been in the planning room to, to happen to know from the correspondence. correspondence. Okay. Uh, while she's doing that, we can talk about other business. There are. Um, there was a suggested change. Mr. James, you were forwarded. Yes. To um, and the last one? Yeah. Um, I had a question about that. So, yeah. she, so she just wants a change. Let me just find the note. Um, Around the building permits. Building permit to sign. Do we need to have a public hearing for yes. that? Okay. So we need to get that on the next. Yeah. And they. Um, we want to get on the discussion for next month's agenda, and then. Uh, we have a uh, calendar now. Uh, yeah, I saw that today. And uh, I'm gonna be busy. Um, this is good. There's nothing wrong with it. But, um, give me a moment. I think I can probably pull it up here. It's not um, the um, public hearings for zoning are December, right, deadlines? December and January, is that right? If I remember correctly. Planning board, um, it depends. Um, it depends if you're going to have more than one hearing, but there are deadlines um, on the important dates calendar, and I can grab that. But you have until January, but I wouldn't. It do is that. January, okay. Like it's okay. like the first yeah. week in January. But we don't want to lose sight of. It. Nope. I mean, we have there are different requirements now that we're, we're operating on different. Okay. We have to model, so we just have to go on the agenda for next for next, for next week. Is there anything else? I have nothing else. Um, I have we'll see this again. No. 
Yeah. But we can meet, we can start discussing oh, yeah. that and other changes. Yeah, yes. Zoning ordinance at least needs some. Yeah, yeah. we'll definitely have a lot, a lot sometime. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, there are changes that will be done to subdivision or They don't have to go for the motor, but we just keep thinking about it. Okay. I, um, as you all recall, missed the training. I don't know how I missed it last time, but I did, as my membership on the zoning board went to the training for that. We put on the National Municipal Association, and there was discussion there by the presenter that there's been a change in the law, and I wish I have brought the materials with me. Something to the effect of you can now, but you have to have a, have a change in your local laws, put a timeline on site plans mm -hmm. for um, what's the word I'm looking for? Substantial. Um, you have to be vested in the project. Right, right. And I think, I don't know whether. Hours, or whether we want to consider putting that type of language into. Yes. This is one of the big things that Mr. Um, okay. Um, okay. Um, suggested. And, and also, Should our accessory dwelling units are not compliant. Yes, we need to write that. Right. Yep. Okay. We're going to work out for us in the next month. So. Or next month. Yeah. Great. Okay. <clears throat> Anything else uh, for other business? Okay, so our uh, our next uh, meeting is October second. Uh, if, if anyone can't make it, um, and by the way, my belated apologies for missing that training. I don't know how I did it, but I did it. Wasn't the same. What's that? It wasn't the same. <laughs> what, what? I know. I was going to say, but I apologize that I missed it. You mean John Radigan's training? No, it was a. I missed the, the gentleman came in. That I was, missed. That I, was missed, right. missed that was yeah, I missed um, the training for this board night. So he. Um, really I'll see if I can find the handout. I don't know if you got the handout that he. Yeah. 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 I don't think I did. All right. So I'm going to see virtual. if I can find that and I'll um, email it to you. Great. Thank you. So with that, I would entertain a motion to adjourn. Okay. So. Uh, all in favor? Aye. All opposed.